I'm Margaret Hayes Jordan. I am the third great-granddaughter of Paul Jennings. Paul Jennings was the uh, personal slave of, of James Madison, and he was born and raised here on Montpelier. So I first came to Montpelier for a family reunion of the uh, Jennings descendants. So Montpelier is one of the few places that has spent a great deal of attention to uh, reinterpreting and restoring the enslaved communities on a, a state like this or plantation like this. Our job here at Montpelier, the archaeology department's job, is to figure out what Montpelier looked like during the early 19th century when James and Dolly Madison had retired here. And what we're trying to do with this is reestablish where the slave quarters were, the buildings, the fences, the roads, all these that have disappeared over the past 160, 170 years, and begin to bring this back. So when visitors come here, they can imagine what Montpelier looked like, not just the home of James Madison, but the larger farm and plantation complex. The David Rubenstein contribution is really important and significant. Mr. Rubenstein is one of the few people, uh, philanthropists, who has been willing to contribute to uh, help an understanding of the enslaved communities. We restored the mansion to its appearance in the 1820s, but what we're missing from this larger, uh, the Montpelier farm, is the homes that would have been where the enslaved individuals raised their families and how they would have played out their roles as mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, really what had meaning to them in terms of calling Montpelier a home. What Mr. Rubenstein's gift is going to allow us to do is finally bring the homes of the enslaved community back to here to Montpelier. And in doing that, what we're able to do is tell a larger story and uh, begin to really put some uh, much more depth in the conversation that we have at areas like the Gilmore Cabin and the train station. I'm very interested in it because it's a very personal thing for me and my family. But beyond that, uh, I think it's just an important educational opportunity for all of us to see what life is like for the enslaved people at Montpelier.